Basically, I think I started making music because it's in my blood. My old man was a musician, my grandfather was a musician. Um, my mother would be deafening me with horrible heavy metal oh, really? all hours of the right. day, okay. which almost put me off guitars for life. That says a lot. That says a yeah. Lot. Uh, <laughs> and it was basically through punk music and post punk music in particular. There's certain key events, musical and sonically, that, that basically really made me want to produce tracks. Mm. Uh, hearing Yo Bum Rush show by Public Enemy yeah. completely turned my head around. It was like I'd never heard anything like it in my life. It gave me a headache when I bought it. I mean, consistently, a lot of the stuff that I've ended up loving most, I haven't really liked when I first heard it, mm. because it's confronted my own expectations of what music is or can be. Also, some particular shows, seeing the Swans at the ICA, right. which was just pure rhythm and noise, and then seeing Iration Steppers do a mashup session, first dub sound system clash with disciples when I first moved to London. I'd oh, yeah. never seen anything like it before. I mean there was no show, there was no stage, there was no performance, there was no lighting, the crowd didn't clap. All it was was pure sound. It was pure sound immersion. No, I just like extremes. I mean I'm working on the King Midas stuff at the other end of the spectrum. It doesn't have to be angry music. I'm not into just listening to angry music from nine to five. Um, I don't I think there's a dead end you can reach. I like music that's emotional and extreme. I don't care what the extremity is, whether it's total blissed out oblivion, mm. like Boards of Canada, or if it's um, Napalm Death's first album. As I evolve, as I change, my interests and taste in music changes. And for me, I, I get bored shitless very quickly by formula and rigidity. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like, why do I, I just don't want to hear the same thing over and over again. And for me, as I grow as a, as a person, then my taste changes. <laughs> My name's uh, Chris, I'm known as the Plastician. I've been uh, DJing, playing like, dubstep and grind for a long time now, probably been getting on for about seven years, and uh, this is where it's starting to really kick off, I suppose. <laughs> That's about it. Grind's kind of lacking a little bit of what I like, like especially the bass, and and a lot of the tracks sound a, a little bit too like too much like hip hop. I'm, I've always been about like the dance floor tracks, and at the moment, like more so than it was maybe three years ago, dubstep is really like dance floor friendly. Whereas maybe maybe three years ago, it was more like for listening in your house, like nice music to just have on. But look, yeah, so I'm playing a bit more of the dubstep stuff. But at the same time, I'm always, always on the lookout for more grind. Even more so now that I feel that there's so, there's little like quality in the, in the, uh, in the movement at the moment. Anyway. I was, I was a garage DJ playing the two-step stuff. I was always a little bit more into like the darker two-step, like you're talking about your LB, Groove Chronicles, Steve Gurley, uh, Zed Bias, that kind of stuff. So I was playing that, and then like I kind of got involved like as a DJ for like a crew. So I was playing more instrumentals and not really so much of the vocal stuff, which even more kind of piled on top of like my already interest for like the darker side of the stuff. For me, the first guy to play one of my tunes was N-Type, funnily enough, who like didn't really get too well known until maybe like the last couple of years, but I used to listen to his show like on a regular because I met him in the record shop and yeah, like I thought he was a real good DJ. I still remember listening to it on the radio and like, getting all excited listening to my tunes. And, like, yeah, like, I used to get my tracks at any time, and then eventually I gave I sent them out to Slimzy, who was like massive in the grime scene at the time. And, yeah, luckily for me, like anything he touched turned to gold. Like if he played it, you're, you're laughing. Yeah, he started playing some of my tracks, so that was the that was the starting point really for me. Oh, cool, man. No, thanks very much, yeah. man. Respect. Yeah, there you go. Put your two